All right, gamers, we're back. Uh, so last video, I beat all of the secret levels up until now. So yeah, we beat uh, S15. I believe that's the latest one we've beaten. So uh, it's time to either do Wild West Night or continue with the story. And I think I better clear Night Wild West. I feel like if I wait too much longer, it's just going to be really easy. Uh, so yeah, it um, usually gives me a plant at the end of these as well. I got Garlemite from the daytime, uh, uh, what do you call it? Dark Ages. Anyway, wowzers, is nighttime already? Yes, user Dave, the town looks more desolated. What town? Uh, I'll not stop the zombies from invading. I really, the nighttime versions of these weren't in uh, the original game. I'm almost positive. So, uh, I mean, good on uh, Good P for uh, putting so much effort into this. Really impressive. All right, so we're, we're, I guess we can try out Peapod. This isn't our, I mean, this is the first level of the thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I want to see how Peanut attacks. Uh, I want to try out Mistletoe. We'll take a Cherry Bomb and a Squash. And I'll freeze. Actually, let's get a Potato Mine. Alright. Let's get it, gamers. Um, I've been playing a lot of Grind Thousand recently. Which is... Uh, Alright, so, um, we don't talk about this. I forgot that it was nighttime and that sunflowers cost a hundred. So, uh, let's just, uh, there we go. Just absolutely forgot it was nighttime. I'm so smart. Okay, sorry. I've been crying a lot of, uh, Grind Thousand recently, which is, uh, Good peas of her mod, if you didn't know. And it's actually a ton of fun. I, I really like it. So, uh... Yeah, that's cool. It's, uh... More, it basically explores another aspect of the original PvZ2 game and makes it better. Uh, where in this one, it's like linear progression. Sort of in the, uh... Style of... PvZ1. Um... Grind Thousand is like taking the grindy leveling, uh, like plant leveling aspect, and running with that. And uh, it works surprisingly well. You're basically uh, doing levels in any order you want, and they just get harder and harder really quickly. Uh, and they're just like, I don't know, it's really satisfying to level up all your stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot in. Uh, this version, we, um, don't get, a uh, yeah, sorry, the puff shrooms don't stay forever. They phase out of existence eventually. Alright. So we have a lot of sun right now. Let's, uh, replace this guy with peanut. See? Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> huh. I swear I, oh, uh, you didn't see that. I swear I used Peanut before. Look at this. He, he like shoots across lanes. That's nuts. Yo, this is rad, bro. He's changed so many of the plants. Anyway, Mistletoe. I don't actually know what this plant does. Oh. It, so it's like a banana. Ooh. Okay, so it's like an area of effect threes, freeze ability. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's pretty expensive, but uh, in longer levels, I could definitely see that being useful. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, pea shooter. I'm using it wrong right now, I think. So is this like a cherry bomb effect? Yes. Okay. Yeah, this seems pretty good. I like the mistletoe a lot. Let's get some more of these guys. Y'all. And y'all. 
It's hit you because I forgot to put a puff room in this lane. Let's get a a uh, peanut up there. Look at them. They, I mean, they kind of annihilate. They do a lot of damage. All right. Let's uh, mistletoe all these fools. So it does a little damage, but it's mostly for area freezing. I can see that being very helpful on the uh, maybe ancient Egypt levels because of the uh, torch guys. You know what I'm talking about. Let's just explode that guy. Squash these. Also, um, I didn't pick up on it, but those are uh, Dark Ages zombies. Which is kind of peculiar. Anyway, obviously the first level is going to be easy. Because uh, it always is. Just getting you used to it. Alright, here we go. Survive without planning on Dave's mold colonies. Alright, so here things get a bit spicier. So, uh... I got rid of the peanut for now. I don't think it's that type of level that is good. I could do uh, Snoopy. I could also do Primal Pea Shooter. Lots and lots of options. Uh, I also... I unlocked a key from the secret levels. Maybe... I'm gonna try this out. I know I've picked very expensive stuff, but I have a... Uh, I have like um, puff shrooms and ooh, <laughs> and potato mine and squash for uh, the spicer zombies. The idea is that these uh, rows can be compensated for by having really expensive plants in the slots. You know what I mean? So like, uh, if I have an a key here, then. Like, like, if I chose something like Pea Shooter, I would have to have way more to do enough for this row. I also didn't pick any, um, walnuts, but it's probably fine. I think I'm going to leave Sunshrooms off of the, uh, mold colony lanes. Just, uh, so I have extra space there. Yeah, that's a potato mine, the cone head. And... I guess we might as well keep placing puff rooms. No downside. They recharge pretty fast, you know? They're just pretty good. We got a pretty slow start here, which is nice. Allows us to just farm up sun. I think I could even sneak in some more sun trims, to be honest. Like that. Alright, so we already have enough for, uh, Okay. So we got a piano. I think I like the idea of potato mining that. So we'll just leave him to uh, jive by himself. And then uh, we'll deal with zombies as they come. Okay. Let's get a mistletoe. I'd like to avoid hitting the piano if I can. I uh, failed. I don't know where, what row to put in the key on. Mm. Uh, I don't want to screw up my squash. Oh, wait. About to line up perfectly. Got it. Alright, cool. Uh, let's do that. I screwed that up. Um, I have sun, let's just do that. Alright. Yeah, the piano's coming down the mold colony lane means that I can't kill them with anything except... Actually, if I just do that. Never mind. Crisis averted. Alright, Aki. It's not good to have him that far up, but... Whatever. Just, uh... Sprinkle in some mistletoes there. Let's shove in a. Hey, 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 hey. No! <laughs> Bruh. I forgot how bad I am at games. I'm, I'm trying to vibe with like different uh, plants that I don't. I wouldn't be usually using. Oh, I need to do something about that bucket then. Alright, let's get another one of these. There we go. Actually, I'll squash you. Okay. 
Uh, we, we do be vibing. Also, that just is begging for a cherry bomb. Alright. Yeah, honestly, I'm just surviving with instas right now. And mistletoe support. Not really much to it. I have my big, uh, sun shrooms. Right, let's, uh, do that. Alright. Let's get a, and a key up there. I really should be putting them in the back. The key's not doing as much as I expected. I can't tell how much damage it's dealing. Oh, we got a piano. Do that. I, I really like the mistletoe. Like, I'm really enjoying it. Let's just do that. Um... Alright, enough playing around. Goodbye, pianos. Squash you. Alright, let's get a nice and symmetrical up in here. Um, okay, I can do some of this. And I guess I'll save these mistletoes so I can slow them again. Right, let's do it again. And you up here. Man, they're... They actually do, like, a pretty decent amount of damage. Like, these zombies are kind of getting shredded right now. Look at those. Oh, wait, no, don't do that. That's a shame. Yeah, Mistletoe, mis <laughs> mistletoe does quite a bit of damage. I didn't give it enough credit. Like, they were kind of just soloing that. Alright, cool. I don't expect this to get too difficult, because these nighttime levels are, uh, on the easier side. Uh, well, compared to the levels I was playing in, like, uh, Big Wave Beach and that. Never have more than three plants produce at least 300 sun. Oh. Oh, and we're given the plants. Oh, wait, what? Produce sun. Okay, well, I guess we should do that. Oh, it's one of these where we're given everything. I get it. Okay, kindly, uh, shoot the imps. Alright, never mind. I, uh, take back what I said about this being easy. This is gonna suck. Wait, how do I... Oh, hold on. The produce amount of sun requirement is gonna destroy me. Alright, so do I do this? Yeah, there we go. Did not realize that would just kill him instantly. Oh, hello. That was uh, nearly a mistake. Alright. Okay, I do need to kill these imps. Oh, shoot. I screwed it up. Yeah, this, okay, it's gonna. Alright, I think I, I was trying to get all of the sun producing requirement out of the way at the start. But I nearly produced enough just there. So I think I can afford, when the second bull comes, I can definitely afford to delete my sunflower to make more room. Anyway, I like the idea of doing this right now. And this. And just kind of. Uh, using Celery Stalker to take care of these guys. Actually, this should kill them eventually. Okay. I was wrong, apparently. Kill him. Okay. <laughs> okay, um... This is where micromanaging comes in. And, uh, that's always the issue, isn't it? Man, this works really good in nighttime. Like, they've done more than just, uh, put a filter over it. Alright. Get the sunflower there. Eat that. And 
And that should get hit by this? Yeah. Alright, you eat that. You die from that. Is that other soccer you I got? Oh, right. Alright. Do that. Celery stalker, this guy. Okay, geez. Slow it down a minute. Okay, I did finish him off. Oh, the imp got passed. Oh, he died, though. Oh, what the hell. Okay. That, ah, I lost a lawnmower. My bad. Oh, what am I doing? God, I'm terrible at this. Oh, oh god. Get him. It's so hard. Oh, I, I finished producing enough sun. Eat that, please. Oh. Last time it killed him. Okay, I need to not be less afraid of deleting my sunflower. So the imps should be killed by uh, starfruit, ideally. But goddamn! All right, give me that sunflower. Thank you. Okay. Just gonna keep let these guys vibe for a bit. Okay, kill that one. Kill up. Oh yeah, there we go. So eat you. Now, I actually want to let that guy vibe for a bit because I'm going to. Uh, I want to draw this. Oh, right. My bed. Wait. Uh oh, there we go. Right. Okay. I took it too far. Where is it? It doesn't come back. Alright. I think I just have to, uh... I don't know. Alright. Okay. Move this guy over here. Oh, he won't come up yet. You eat that. How long do they stay stuck? I doesn't finish him off. I don't know how to do this. All right. Actually, I can do that. Oh, wait. No! I'm a moron. I keep forgetting I can feed the bulls, uh... Chilies, though, by the way. Oh, crap. I need uh, my sunflower up. Forgot about the sunflower requirement, but I hadn't actually done it. Okay, let's just chillax. Okay. You just die. 
you also die. Hope my sunflower uh, does the thing. Just gonna get that bull killed. All right, I can delete the sunflower. This should not be this hard, by the way. I'm just ass at micromanaging shit. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I screwed it up. Wait, that killed them that time. Weird. Oh. Oh. Okay, got him. Okay. We survive. Where? Get down there. Kill you. Set that up. You eat that. Not really using a star fruit that much. Oh, I have zero left. Oh. Oh, hold on. Okay. Just a bit of a. Uh... Micro. Actually. Should always have to turn that up. Okay. Where's my bean? Where's my bean, bro? Okay. Kill him. Go, celery stalker. We love you. Forget it. Just do that. Okay. The fact that we lost three lawnmowers is honestly embarrassing. That was not a hard level, okay? For a normal human being, that would not have been difficult. But I just could not- I, I find it difficult to comprehend that I can, like, move a plant around. Anyway. Let's see. So we got a bull. Um, so obviously these, they just come with us all the time. Um, tall nut's a good idea, walnut in case we don't have a tall nut when we need it. That for bucket heads. Um, take a stalia for emergencies. And then we need something to actually kill the zombies. I kind of like a bonk choy. Or, actually, where's our boy Snapdragon? Let's give Snapdragon a go. There's also Cold Snapdragon. But because I could move Snapdragon along. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, let's see if we can manage it. I'm not sure how hard this mod gets, because uh, there's an entire half of the game I haven't touched. And, uh... You know, that's, uh... It's a bit of a scary prospect that I, I've barely scratched the surface of this game. I already, like, struggle with it a little. Especially the secret levels. If there's something harder than the secret levels, then I'm very scared. Of what I was trying to say. I beat almost all the secret levels. Almost. Okay, let's see. Uh, is one puff shroom enough to take out a zombie? It is in the original game. I don't think it is in the... Let's test it real quick. It's not. Okay. I'm just gonna potato mine you. Let's get a... Uh, shroom up on that. That cart. Not gonna be using it for anything else. They're very nice with their starts. It's not very uh, fast. Alright. see if we can take out this head with uh, 
my puff rooms. Actually. Take a snapdragon, eh? Underdancers. I like this edition of uh, zombies that just dance by themselves. They use like the piano mechanic without the piano. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, whoops. Get him. That was not the plan I meant to place. Hmm. Let's just do that. Uh, and let's get Snapdragon here. Walnut there. Oi, oi, oi. Oh god, uh, not going great. Stalia. Potato mine. Walnut, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, a bit dicey. But I'm a moron, so... Makes sense. A potato mine was there for the bucket head, but you might just die to a snapdragon. Let's do this. And set you up there. And that. Oh, there's a bull on the right lane. That's a good lane for the bull to be. Thank you, bull. For, uh, cooperating. Alright, that's another snapdragon. Let's go. Zombie's about to get shredded. Let's do that. And let's do that. Alright. Um... I can always get a number snapdragon up there. So the carts, I was actually thinking would be an advantage. They're actually a limiting factor. At least right now. Might, uh... I'm gonna replace that with a snapdragon right now. Oh, crap. Um, I forgot I didn't have a toll knot in every lane. Some of them are just normal walnuts. Let's change that. Slowly. I, I need to be wary of bulls. So there's no point in not being there. I thought, that, I thought the snapdragon had more range than they did. My bad. Oh, of course it's on this one. Okay, just uh, do that. And Stolly is kind of a stupid decision, because uh, my Snapdragons, they don't really work well with it. Alright, it's a bit of a weird setup we've got, but if it works, you know? Alright. I'm going to do this. For a bit sturdier. Is that, is that Snapdragon actually uh, doing stuff? What made that happen? I'm also gonna replace this with a Snapdragon. We have so much sun. Alright, I like Snapdragon though. Glad we chose him. He's great. We love Snapdragon. Uh, let's just do that. I don't want him that far back, because then he won't be getting hit. Alright, let's move this up. Whoa! Yeah, underdancers. That's alright. Yeah, this is just so much easier than the micromanaging stuff I was having to do. Just for me, that is like some of the hardest stuff to get over my thick head imaginable. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna be healing these walnuts, you know, because probably should. These, uh, far furthest back snapdragons, oh wait, no, look, the snapdragons can't hit. Yeah, they can hit two tiles back, okay. I thought they could. I, I just wasn't seeing it happen. Alright, okay, so this guy should be down there, I suppose. Heal the bulls. Also, I never really thought about why the hell they're mechanical, but they are, so. That's weird. Like, why are the bulls mechanical? What's the, the lore? 
Go Snapdragon. It's so satisfying to see them clear out zombies like that. So satisfying, man. Look at that. And we end with like 4,000 sun. Okay. That was not a difficult level. Huh. It's just a different type of level. And it's a type of level that comes to me easier. It's a more traditional one. I mean, no uh, setbacks or anything. Oh, jeez. It's a last stand. Oh, <laughs> what the hell. Okay. Well, obviously, Tollnut's got... We have, like, no sun. Maybe it's not actually not obvious. Okay. Well, we're allowed to bring Puff Shroom, apparently. What are we not allowed to bring? Sun, obviously. Uh, we're allowed. We are allowed Iceberg Lettuce, if we wanted. Garlemite, might as well take it. Uh... I think I'm gonna use Tollnut. Gonna take Puff Shroom. Uh, this makes sense, but how do bulls die? Because th this just takes up our entire, like, all of our money. In fact, it more than takes up all of our money. It's actually too expensive. So I think it's just a matter of dodging these guys. The only thing. Or maybe using, like, two toll nuts. One here, one here. And then... Huh. We have enough money for... Banana. Okay, I'm gonna try something stupid. I'm confused. Wait, what am I missing? Am I dumb? Am I dumb? Why can't I... Wait, huh? What? Pardon. What? What? Well, these guys, we can just let vibe. Like, I, they can't beat me. Why can't I place the, uh, the banana? And that's just weird, right? Okay. Uh, I'm just waiting to be able to place this banana. Let's just, like, stall with the Garlemite. Where are you? Good. Good lane for you to be on. I still can't. Motherfucker. Alright. Oh, shit. Uh, okay. Do it. Do the thing. Okay. I I really am pure confused right now. Also, I, I this isn't enough for uh, banana. Yeah, I can. Why is it not allow banana? That's curious. Very curious. Okay. Yeah, banana's not gonna work. Why am I not using puff room? It's off, man. Come on, banana. Recharge. 
have to do this. Shit. <laughs> okay. So my plan went bunk because I can't put banana on the minecart. I would love somebody to explain that to me. Because I don't know why I wasn't able to do that. Uh, it's bizarre. Anyway, it wasn't a good strategy anyway. Um... So in that case... What can I put on it? <laughs> this is not the worst idea I've ever heard. There's just that one lane that doesn't get anything done for it. Um... Tricky. Mistletoe, that's not gonna do it by itself. Garlic, you know? Garlic works. Sorta. Cauliflower. That's beyond stupid. Hmm. Three feeder? Peapod. How much will Peapod cost overall? It can get up to five, right? Which is uh, a lot. That's a... Uh, it's a bit much, actually. It's 900. So we could afford something else for the other row. Which would be... Chili Pulp? This is weird, man. Okay, I can place these guys on. That's nice. It's nice of them to let me do that. Alright. I'm gonna do this. Let's see what happens, huh? So, it's only really the chili lane we have to worry about. Alright. Okay, got it. And those guys can just walk. So we destroy the, uh, the bull pretty easily. Do the same thing here. Okay, I think, yeah, this is all we needed. This isn't, like, rocket science. This isn't, like, a super hard level to think through. I'm gonna do this in advance. Do your thing. Alright. Problem is... We're gonna get these guys. Oh, wait, no, that's not a problem. <laughs> they get destroyed. Hold on. Okay, that's pretty funny, actually. Uh-oh. Forgot that this would be a problem. Okay. Oh wait, I could have uh, diverted it. Forgot about that. Okay. Okay, still caught it. It's all right. I can divert that guy. Yep. Replace it. Okay, I need to switch over. Oh, he died anyway. Oh, jeez. Lay off him! Okay, thank you. Shouldn't matter. Yep. Bull die. Okay, good. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Well, that's a shame. Also down here is goofed. God damn it, man. How was I getting that before? 
I was getting that somehow, you remember that. Okay. Oh, I should have just been using a plus room or something. Down there anyway. Oh. Okay, this is happening. Okay. This is fine. Just gonna... Why, man? Jesus. Okay. Mission failed. Um... Right. Okay, we ran into a problem. Uh, anyway, this is kind of a stupid idea, because the advantage of those guys is you can build them up. We should just take, like, a really expensive thing, like a melon. Just a really expensive, really powerful thing. That thing is splash damage. We need something that just deals a ton to one target. Now, uh, let's try this. Let's try this. Given that I can place it. Okay, good. And that. Now, I, I can't spam puff shrooms before the level starts, unfortunately. But I can spam uh, potato mines. But that's not going to help. There are a bunch of guys all over the place. Uh, okay. Again with the micromanaging. So I should do that. Put that there. I'm just loading this up so that the bulls hopefully get sorted. Might as well kill some zombs. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, push it through this lane. Actually. Alright. Do that. Okay, it's fine. Uh, the watermelon doesn't do enough damage. Yeah. Okay. More for shot. It's not powerful enough. Need something that obliterates, uh, bulls like the, uh, like Peapod does. Maybe I'm going about this wrong. Probably am. Shrinking Violet. I haven't used that yet. Alright. And we're kind of starved for options. It's looking like I'm going back to the pea pod. I can't think of anything else. Except tearing stuff. But I don't really want to do that. Hmm. Actually. Whatever, we have money, right? I never use this anyway. Let's just have a go. Also, speaking of money. Zen Garden Break, yo. Forgot about this. Alright. Now, what are we even using gems for? Because, uh, maybe I want to, like, open more... Screw it. For completion. I was saving up for the plants that cost gems exclusively. But those have been removed, so... 
Let's just do this. What's this? Fazbreaker? Wait, is this a thing in Nicholas? Can you actually do this? I'm not going to get sidetracked right now, but I'll uh, investigate that. Completely forgot that was a mechanic in the original PVZ2. That's crazy. Anyway. Same plan. Bonk. 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 And we can afford a replacement, uh... Guy. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, so, the problem is when there's multiple, it knocks the bulls back well, but does it do damage? Okay, that's good enough. I think it does. I think this is good. Uh, that was, that's gonna get eaten and everything. Don't know why I did that. Alright, there we go. Kindly charge, bull. Cool. We're good. Got a bunch of uh, prospectors over here. Just uh, feed you that. Alright, let's move over. Oh, what is happening? What is wrong with me? Nothing's happening. That didn't happen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The reason I brought the puff shroom was to bait the one at the bottom. I, I was just completely ignoring the bulls. Alright, I don't think this is going to work. I don't think Primal P is the plan for this. Uh, what is it? I am off my... I'm losing it. Okay. The bulls are, uh... They're, they're screwing with me, okay? Alright, I feel like if I spend too many attempts on a level, I really should edit it down. Because it's got to be so boring to watch me replay the same thing, you know? Anyway. Uh, so, nothing right now. We just ignore, because the prospector's come. He just minces him. So, th they're, the, this guy's actually uh, better than the... Uh, Primal P for specifically dealing with prospectors. Alright, do your thing. Okay. Just, uh, dodge that guy. Oh, yeah, I should be careful not to, uh, what the? Wait, that was weird. You see him, like, fall over, like he'd just fallen off the thing for the first time? Alright. I need to put that there. Okay, let's, uh, spread the love out a bit. Yeah, look at that! That's so cute! Wait, I love that. The M. That, that's wonderful. I'm glad I got to witness that. They get pushed back so far at tier 3. That's so impressive. Okay. Oh! I missed- I'm- I'm just- Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell, man? That was all me. Alright, do that. Oh wait, that's nearly bad. Oh wait, hold on. Movie over here. Okay, I... My man's getting destroyed over here. Oh shoot. 
Oh, wait, I didn't think about- Oh, dear. I also did not think about that happening. Where the prospectors all come at once. Forgot that was a thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, we struggling. Last stand levels, uh... A little difficult, I'll admit it. Um... Uh... What's the strat? What's the smoking gun? I don't want to tear up too much stuff. Like... I want to save my money. A little. Be a bit more conservative than I am now. How do I deal with all those prospectors? Like, Primal P just doesn't cut it. For that, specifically. I mean... Chili seemed to be doing okay. Should I just try the chili? I have more money for other stuff. What other stuff should I be doing? Squash. Never use potato mine. Um, what's the plan, Stan? I'm sure at the end, Cherry Bomb will become real. Ah, uh, actually. Okay. Let's have a go. Just gotta remember to slow it down. Stop that from being eaten. Let's see if we can kill these guys for no reason. So how does he fare when he's... Okay, that's not good. But, okay, we, we can replace this guy, though. Is the idea. Alright. Let's see how well he does against the bull. We don't even need a toll nut necessarily. Like it's not that big of a deal. Okay. Oh crap. It's like that's not that big of a deal if the imp gets that far. Christ. Yeah, this is not cutting it. Huh. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even close to cutting it. It's just way too slow. Man, if, if the prospectors didn't all come in that one wave, uh, the Primal P would do it. Hmm. I remember I used Nightshade a lot in Grind Thousand. But not really any reason to mentioning that, I'm just thinking out loud. Um Oh this guy would be sick. I remember what this guy does. Well, at least in the Eclipse mod. I believe or is he he might be different in Nicholas. Actually yeah, I think or I think I remember what he does in Grind Thousand, I think I saw thinking of. He, uh, basically is, uh, the, like, a jalapeno version of the banana. Anyway. How do we kill these bulls, man? Uh. What if we set up an entire lane of split peas? What if? How much money do we have? So that's 1,250 by itself. So that would not buy us much. It. I know the purpose is to use this. But let's try it. This is never going to work. 
I mean, I don't know. Just give it a go, eh? Eliminate the micromanaging aspect. Just does not do that much damage, you know? And it's not that important to kill the prospectors until that one time. Alright. I, there's actually no point uh, making it a uh, pull knot. I stand by that. Yeah, look at how little damage is being done. If it killed a bull that way, this would work. But it doesn't. Gets close though. Okay. Um, what does it take to kill a prospector? Because I'm thinking... I don't know what I'm thinking. Do chompers eat bulls or do they do DPS to it? Alright, hold on. That for prospectors. Then... Chomper takes out bulls. That win? do this, then chomper boys, line of walnuts, this. <laughs> Why do I keep making a toll nut? Whatever, man. I'm vibing, okay? Yeah, so that annihilates prospectors. Yeah, because we don't actually want... Oh, wait, no. Whoa, 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 wait. The imp, that's an issue. Did not think of that. Okay. It does matter that it's a toll nut. Because we need to kill the imps with puff rooms. The imps need to die. Why is this imp so thick, bruh? See, the DPS on that is kind of gnarly. Yeah, look at that. Right. Just need to not let it... Uh... Be wasted on the imp. Oh, crap. Just happened. I guess I can always garland my it. Hey, move the cart. Alright. Yeah, it's happening. Yeah, this is bad. Didn't think of uh, that the chomper actually happened to eat stuff, you know? Bit of a weakness in my strategy. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh. If you can think of a solution, an additional solution to the imps, this might work. I'm gonna look up the tiers for a chopper. Okay, so putting it to tier 2 would reduce the chew time. Um, I don't think that's a permanent solution, because it's not by enough. 
All right. How do we kill the imps? If we could afford spike wheat. Does that kill an imp in one go? I don't think it actually does. Uh, God damn. Imps are annoying, man. Can we just get behind that? Imps are heckin' annoying. Let's see. What if we... Oh, wait, 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 hold on. You have no idea how genius I flip an M. Actually, how far do they fling imps? Okay, doesn't matter. This. If I put a one up, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter where this is, to be honest. Yeah, like this. This. Alright, and best part. The... So if the, the imps are going to get flung, right? Actually, hold on. I can get reimbursed. Alright, hold on, hold on. I think the imps will get flung about here. Right? And then the seller stalkers can deal with them. Right? And in case things go bad, I can always, like, do this and this. Even this and this, you know? Hold on. I might possiblemente muy inteligente. I, I don't know. I don't know. The celery stalkers, man, they might just win it for me. Let's see how it happens. And the best part is, I can just let it run. If this miraculously works. Oh, they don't get flung far enough. Wait, 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 it might be fine. Okay, someday that's gonna bite me in the ass, because, uh, the prospectors are going to, uh, be there, and then my imp's gonna... The, the, my imp, the, the, the imp is going to eat the celery. And we, we're gonna need to replace, uh, celery stalkers and walnuts, but apart from that, I mean, I mean, come on, this is pretty smart, right? I could have placed the Celery Stalkers one back. They don't actually fling them as far as I was accounting for. Alright, let's see how this works. Get down, you fool. Okay. Okay, hold on. Stuff is happening. Chomper DPS is nuts. It's... Chomper, can you just never eat anything ever? You've got... You're, you're using the wrong part of your arsenal, my friend. God damn. Just bite things. Look at you. Yeah, he probably gets hungry, right? Maybe that's too cruel to him. It's not fair to the chomper. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Come on, celery stock. It's the same one again, isn't it? It's fine. Also, I could have had a line of celery stalkers here, potentially. To kill the bulls faster. Because I have extra sun. Yo, okay. This is suddenly a tutorial video. Having issues with this level? Just do this. Am I not? Okay, I'm pretty proud of this one. <laughs> Unless something crazy happens in the final wave. I think we nailed it. I think it's self-sustaining. If I don't have to replace anything, I can call this self-sustaining. This is the last stand where you just let it run itself. For real. I, uh, the walnuts are looking a bit worse for wear. That's two imps. Does that matter? No. Oh, oh, uh oh. It's not self sustaining. It's not self sustaining. It's not self sustaining, everyone. Uh, okay. I did have to replace a, a walnut or two. Oh! Alright. This is no longer a tutorial video. You can totally improve this by doing like this. Uh, 
need to replace that with something. Please hold. Hold the door. Hold the door. No. No. <laughs> okay. Wait, what the hell did you eat? How'd you eat something? What do you eat, bruh? What do you eat? How do you eat a- Oh, flag zombie. Flag zombie. Forgot. Right, 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 right. Flag zombie. Okay. With a minor adjustments, that's how you game. I think the strat was to put another row of celery stalkers in front of that last row. That would start catching the imps sooner. Whatever. It meant I didn't have to use the uh, minecart. That's pretty cool. Okay, this is a nice normal level. How much time have I been recording for though? Nearly an hour. Should I just go through? See if I can get all of this done. Um, I should probably split this up. I appreciate you bearing with me through that last level. I'm proud of my solution, even if it wasn't perfect. But anyway, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Uh, peace.